Hey everyone, so I get this question a lot, is how do I use Everbee in incognito mode? So in this quick little video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. It's very easy and it only takes a couple of seconds to do it. So here you are, uh, you can see my screen here. Go to the top right, go to the puzzle piece up here, click on this, find Everbee, go ahead and click on this little pin button, first of all. So that way you could always see if Everbee is either on or off. As we see, it's green, it's on. Great, click on the puzzle piece once more. Go to manage extensions. Find Everbee here, see details. You're gonna go down and find allow in incognito. Make sure this is toggled on. By default, it's probably toggled off. Go ahead and click it on. And then now that's it. You can now use Everbee in incognito mode. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little bit now. See if I can. Perfect. As you see, I'm incognito mode now. It's blacked out up here, incognito here. Um, and as you see, Everbee is turned on. So all I did was I just did, I went to Etsy.com, typed in necklace, let's run analytics real quick. And here we are, and here we are having all this data. So this is cool because now we can like get no, like we could remove all of the bias, right? All of this uh, machine learning AI, Etsy's AI, trying to like understand my browser search history. Now we can remove all that bias and we can get actually real, real data, um, you know, that's very unbiased and we can actually analyze that data with ever so that's pretty much it guys not sure if you hear the helicopter flying over me right now so sorry if you hear that but just wanted to share that with you and i hope it helps talk to you soon see ya